men of the 96th Division attacking Zebra Hill, an enemy strong point near the village of Shuri on the Jap line running from Naha to Yonabaru. Tanks advance in the face of heavy enemy fire. Artillery shells score direct hits on Japanese positions. Advancing troops are driven back along the side of the hill. Machine guns cover a section of the advance as troops work their way to the top of a nearby ridge flanking Zebra Hill. Intense enemy fire causes heavy casualties. On top of the ridge, the troops dig in and open fire on Japs defending the other side of the hill. Shelling Zebra Hill in the final blow to demolish the position. On 14th May, elements of the 10th Army open an all-out attack against the Naha Yonabaru line. Flamethrowers in action against Chocolate Drop Hill, a strong point which has been holding up our advance for five days and inflicting heavy casualties. A 300-yard gain again wipes out the enemy position. Soldiers of the 77th Division, accompanied by a native, look for civilians reported hiding behind the front lines. The natives are discovered down deep wells in century-old caves dug about 30 feet below the surface and tunneled between a number of the wells. Altogether, about 150 persons are found hiding. They'd been below ground for 57 days. Many of them suffered from colds and sores and were infested with fleas. The cave ceilings are so low that many of the civilians could not stand upright. One of two babies born in the caves, the other baby born underground. The natives are taken to new quarters where they'll get clean clothes and medical care. Troops of the 77th Division cleaning out ridges bypassed in the capture of nearby Yonabaru. Snipers hiding in caves cause frequent casualties. Guns are set up to blast Jap positions which have been harassing supply lines in range of the bypassed hills. Tank destroyers are brought up to pound the caves. Tank flamethrowers burn out the last of the snipers. Men of the 77th Division moving up to the front. Lieutenant General Simon B. Buckner visits an observation post on the cracking Shuri line. The general confers with field officers after inspecting the battle lines. Ruins of the town of Yonabaru, eastern anchor of the Shuri line and second most important harbor in Okinawa. Naval bombardment and artillery fire on 22nd May almost completely leveled this east coast anchor of the Jap defense line stretching from Naha to Yonabaru. The town had a peacetime population of about 5,000. The railroad station. The depot for buses running between the nearby coastal towns. The smokestack served as an enemy observation post in this sugar mill north of Yonabaru. English and American machinery. Most main roads remain in fairly good condition despite rains and heavy traffic. A midnight rain floods tents of the 4124th Quartermaster Trucking Company. Water in some of the foxholes ranges from four to eight feet deep. A jeep on a secondary road requires a bulldozer to get through. Because of the bad condition of this road, a bulldozer is kept available to keep traffic moving. The aftermath of a Jap suicide attack on Yontan airstrip. 
Striking in coordination with other enemy units in an 18-hour attack on 24th May, 13 sallies attempted to land on or near the airstrip, gasoline, and ammunition dumps. Six were shot down by fighters, five by anti-aircraft fire. Most of the crews in the planes that landed were killed in the crashes or by aircraft personnel. Wounded Japs destroyed themselves with grenades. A number of our planes were set on fire. Additional Marine Corps films of the fighting before the ridges guarding Naha. Tanks blast Jap positions in the hills outside the city. Ancient hillside tombs are used by the enemy for last-ditch defenses. One of our tanks catches fire after receiving a direct hit. A tank crewman escapes through the turret. A tank retriever comes to the aid of the disabled tank. As the retriever works quickly to repair the tank, crewmen find it necessary to shield the vehicles by tossing out white phosphorus grenades. A curtain of white phosphorus screens the operation. Heavy and accurate enemy shell fire from artillery emplacements on the ridge tops has been effective against our armored units. As the enemy finds the range again, the repaired tank and tank retriever move off. Naha is hit from the air as rocket-firing planes support the attack. artillery barrage supports the tank and marine infantry assault. A sugar mill smokestack is smashed by a direct hit. Telephoto lens shots show retreating Japs running for cover while trying to escape our machine gun fire. Heavy automatic fire brings down the fleeing Japs. Tanks used in the Naha attack continue to be equipped with extra tread wrapped around front and side for additional armor. 6th Division Marines move ahead against the city's outlying defenses. Armor leads the attack to destroy small houses still standing after our artillery and Navy gun bombardment. The houses afford cover for enemy forces committed to the city's defense. Following the tanks, troops close in to wipe out remaining Jap resistance. Elements of the 6th Marine Division capture western and eastern sections of Naha in a swift advance through the city 28th and 29th May. <laughs> 